Hello friends, this video polynomials part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched polynomials part 1 to part 10. Let's learn division algorithm for polynomials. If p and gx are any polynomials, there are two polynomials p and gx where gx is not equal to 0 by because I am trying to find px by gx. So if gx is equal to 0, this becomes infinite. So where gx is not equal to 0, we have told this. Then we can find q and rx such that px is equal to gx into qx plus rx. What is this? This is q is quotient, r is remainder. See in Euclid formula also we have p is equal to g into q plus r, right? q is quotient, r is remainder. Here also simply px of the function, we divide by gx, we divide this by gx, you will get quotient and you will get remainder. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. px is the dividend, divisor is the gx, quotient is the qx and remainder is the rx. Now we will go through steps to divide polynomials. We have to arrange, the first step is we have to arrange the terms of dividend and divisor in the descending order of their degrees. Once done, we have to use the equilibrium form. I'll take my example. Example, we have to divide px by gx, let's suppose. Right? And here we have px is equal to 2 plus 3x square plus 4x plus x square. And let's suppose gx is equal to 1 plus x. So you see the power is not arranged properly. So I'll rearrange this, I'll write this as x cube, the highest power, second highest power is 3x squared, third highest power is 4x plus 2 and this I'll write as x plus 1. Now first step is done, we have arranged this in the descending order of their degree and then we will use the equilibrium formula, equilibrium formula is nothing but if you have this is x plus 1 then you have x cube plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 2, we keep on dividing this x you can multiply with x square to get x cube so i'll say x square here so this becomes x cube plus x square correct this is cancelled 3x square minus x square is 2x square plus 4x now to get 2x square I have to multiply x with 2x so this becomes 2x square plus 2x so this cancel i get 2x plus 2 i'll multiply with this I get 2x plus 2. I get remainder as 0. This is my, sorry, this is my quotient, this is my remainder. Very simple, we use the equilibrium formula. Equilibrium formula obviously is like this only. You have this number, you have to divide the big number by this number to keep dividing this. That is, if you have px, that can be written in the form of gx into qx plus r rx is a remainder correct this is gx so this is my g this is my p this is q and this is r we'll take some more examples to clear our concept let's suppose px is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and gx is equal to x square minus 2 first step we have to arrange in descending power it's already arranged so we'll ignore this second is we have to apply to grid formula so let's do this x square minus 2 x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. Correct? x square you have to multiply with x to get x cube. So we will multiply with x to get x cube. So this becomes x cube minus 2x. So I will write 2x here actually. Because I will just want to write x below the power of x only. This is something. So what I get this is this cancel. I will get minus 3x square plus 7x minus 3. Correct? Now in x square if you multiply minus 3 we get minus 3x square. I want to cancel this. So I will say minus 3. So I will get minus 3x square plus 6. Correct? This is, this is cancelled. So I will get 7x minus 3. Now since it is x square I can't do anything with a 7x. I can't divide it further. So this is my remainder and this is my quotient and that is the answer.
Very simple. We have this first arranged in the ascending order, and then we have used the Euclid formula. This was x squared, this was x cube. So I multiplied with x. X squared into x becomes x cube. Correct. So this got cancelled here, right? And then uh, I got this numbers. This is 3x squared minus 3x squared. It will be minus 3x squared. You have to multiply x squared with minus 3. So I have multiplied with minus 3. So I got minus 3x squared plus 6 because minus 3 into minus 2 is plus 6. Cancel this. I got 7x minus 3 minus 3. This is minus 9. And that's the remainder 5 because I can't divide this part. We'll take one example. We have px equal to x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 and gx equal to x square minus plus 1 minus 9. It's already arranged. This is not arranged. So let me arrange this. This becomes x square minus x plus. This one, if I want to make my life simple, I can make this as nothing but uh, I can put the x to the power, power 3, 3 also. x to the power, power 3 is missing. So I can write this as nothing but x to the power 4 plus 0 into x to the power 3 minus 3x three square plus 4x plus just to make my division neater. So now let me use the Euclid formula x square minus x plus 1. Here you get x to the power 4 minus 0x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus. Correct. So I have used this 0x cube. I will show you why because I will get somewhere in the x cube form so that I can write beneath here. That's it. You can go to plus minus minus this one. So it's 0. So from x square you want to get x4 you have to multiply with x square because x square into x square is x4. So this becomes x to the power 4 minus x into x square is minus x cube plus 1 into x square is plus x square. So if you cancel this what you get is x cube because 0 x cube minus minus x cube is plus x cube minus 3 x square minus x square is minus 4 x square plus 4 x plus now to get x cube from x square we have to multiply with x so what you get is x cube minus 2 x square plus x correct x cube x cube cancel so minus 4 x square minus 2 x square we get sorry this is minus x square because x into minus x is minus x square so minus x square actually so this becomes minus 4 x square minus minus x square is minus 3 x square plus 4 x minus x becomes 3 x plus 5 correct now I'll multiply with minus 3 because minus 3 into x square is minus 3 x square so minus 3 x square plus 3 x plus Sorry, minus 3. Correct? This is cancelled, this is cancelled. 5 minus minus 3 is 8. So we got 8 as remainder and x square plus x minus 3 as quotient. Very simple, we have arranged in the ascending, ascending order of the power of x and then we have used the Euclid formula. Here it was x square, it is, it is x square, it is x square, so I multiplied with x square. I got this power, the here it is x cube. So I multiplied with x, I got minus 3 x square. So to get minus 3 square to multiply with minus 3, I got this. And since 8, I can't divide further. So I start with 8. Let's take one example. We have to find if fx is divided by gx. We have to find whether fx is divided by gx. So we have fx is equal to t square minus 3. Already are in ascending order. gx is equal to 2t4 minus 3t2 plus minus 2t square minus 19 minus 2. This is also already ascending order. So we'll just divide this. Let's do that. T square minus 3. three t cube minus 2 d square minus 19 minus 2. Correct? This is 2 t4. This is t square. That means we have to multiply with 2 t square. Because 2 t square into t square is 2 t4. So what we'll get? 2t4 minus 3t square minus 3t square. Correct? Sorry, minus 6t square we'll get. 3 into 2 is 6 minus 6t square. So this becomes 2t square which is cancel. This is 3t cube minus 2t square minus minus 60t square is minus 2t square plus 60 square. This plus 4t square 
minus 19 minus 2. Correct? This is 3t square, this is t square. Sorry, this is 3t cube, this is t square. So I'll multiply with 3t. So I'll say plus 3t. So what I get is 3t cube minus 90. Correct? This gets cancelled, this gets cancelled. So what I get is 4t square minus. So t square into 4 is equal to 4t square. So I'll multiply it. So I get 4t square minus 3 into 4. This cancel, this cancel gets zero. Since the remainder is 0, I can say that t cube minus t is divisible. Uh, that is gx is divisible by fx. Correct? Because the remainder is 0, we can say that fx divides gx or gx is divisible by fx. Very simple here also. We have just used the equivalent formula to divide. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.